Let me take you on a journey. What's going on, guys? Loon Tech CC here, and uh, Castle Crisis has just opened up, so um, I thought I would record a video and just uh, show you my routine. Um, I've just uh, completed quest board and used up all my gold, but um, I've still got plenty of mana, as everyone always does. And um, what I found is I've, I've tested a few ways. I mean, um, if you want to get the absolute maximum, yeah, you can donate 10 at a time, but that takes forever, like, you know. And um, life's too short to be messing around like that. So I find if you just, magic number I found, if you just donate 70,000, um, it tends to give you around about the 11,000 points mark. Just donate 70,000 at a time. Um, mana and gold, each one should give you around about 11,000. So uh, hopefully this will work out. So I'll just uh, get this done quick. See, it's nice and quick as well, you know. Um, you're not faffing around too much. Get it done quickly. And there we go. One last bit. Yeah, almost perfectly 11,000. And uh, that's the same for the gold as well. I found that on all the counts. It's just that's been the magic number for me, 70,000. Just to, just to do it quickly. Let's run through my uh, question ones. Hopefully, we won't get any questions wrong. Demo Gorgon. Okay, is the electricity. It's good to um, it's good to know all the the heroes. I mean, no, that's good. That's what you want. Nine thousand five hundred seventy six. Yeah, and it's uh, it's good to join time though. As soon as you start seeing the big numbers come up, combining crest guys for crest. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. As soon as the big numbers start coming up with that percentage thing, just try and click it. Um, usually find the top rows better if it starts going wrong. I mean, that's random. I know that's random. That one really. Actually. That's a good start. Thirty-seven thousand. You want to be aiming for over twenty-five thousand. It's time. I think that's an easy one. On the on the on the points. If you can get over twenty-five thousand, that's great. So as soon as you see the big numbers, well, uh, whoa! I didn't even push that then. Oh, Glitch that did. Oh well. You win in what? Win honor badges and merits from torch battles. That's wrong. Shards, isn't it? Yeah, you know, the longer you play the game, the better you get at these question ones. Oh, that's awesome. I was getting two nine thousands in the both sessions. Pretty good. Shaman is the little skull. So that's a good start, yeah, you know, um, 67,000 points for the first couple of rounds, is good. So I'm just going to show you my, um, this is the main thing, I'll show you my Ember Army I got going. So this is the base setup I'm using. The idea being, the heroes usually walk around here, which gives um, the towers time to do the work. And they'll walk down here, and uh, just gives a, gives them the longest kind of route around, around your tower, the influence of your towers. Splits up the heroes nicely when you've got flying ones will come in. I'm uh, using Cupid and I think it's a Valentina totem for the other one. If I can't even see where it is. Oh, yeah. Valentina. And uh, this team I got going is. I haven't changed the crest, so this might not go as well as, as normal, but because this guild was the I'm not changing the crest. So I have Dread Drake and Grim Fiend at the top, Gulam in the middle, and Spirit Mage in the two middle ones. And Aries and Pumpkin Duke at the bottom. What I find with this team is Spirit Mage is one of those ones. He either will help me get the highest score possible, or he will end up then getting <laughs> causing me to get a lower score by dying early. Um, I find Medusa is quite reliable, or Trixie Treat instead of Spirit Mage, but they haven't got the capability. I've never got as high a score as they have with this setup. It all depends on whether Spirit Mage stays alive and spawns. So I'll give it a shot. So first round the enemies always easy, you just hope they don't sort of activate your totem, that's the thing. Uh, the tower should be enough to kill off those angels. So there you go, flying ones came through, walking ones go around. That spawn, you should be able to see the why this uh, good base uh, setup to use now. The way these heroes split. Um, see that, they're not, they're not trying to attack the walls and procking off the walls, they're going all the way around. Which means the arrow tail has got plenty of time to get to them. Um, the reason I use Ares and Grim Fiend um, is Grim Fiend I find has got really good AOE damage on his <laughs> damage on his proc, <coughs> which is good. It's almost like a Vlad effect when it when it hits 
hits the area. Plus he does debuffing. The same for Ares. And uh, with this, one of the worst things you can have is an Atlantic or a proc taking out your heroes. So just having that Ares and Grim Fiend is good. Um, oh yeah, I forgot I got Sight Shield on Ares. Because of Guild Wars. Normally I've got a Sprint Crest on him. Or, or I'd put War Gods on him. But, um, you know, I mean, I can, I'm not changing Crest. So chances are I won't get the best score possible. But, um, you know, a Guild Wars defense is too important today because I'm the highest my highest my player, so I'm not changing anything on my base because um, I'm getting attacked non stop today. And uh, I'm finding with like the side shield crest on Ares on, on the Guild Wars defense is helping a lot. So, you can see here, Spear Mage procs a big help. That's, that's why, why Spear Mage is good because he has no cooldown. So, there you go, um, first demon wiped everything out, no heroes died. Really good start. Um, I really like Dread Drake for this as well, just because he's an auto proker and you know he's a good defense, stuns heroes. Um, it's, you know he's just, he's still he's one of my favorite heroes in the game. Dread Drake, I use him for most things. You can see uh, Grimfiend's uh, proc there going to work. Uh, this wave is always a bit a bit of a worry because when you got a ghoul, them he obviously fills up a lot of energy and makes heroes proc quicker. But I'm hoping enough damage goes down for the Atlantic Corps not the proc. Proc, there we go, happy days. So as long as all the heroes spawn, um, as long as all the heroes go to this demon, this should be an okayish run. Like the worry is where the pumpkin jukes is going to go into the demon. I need him to. Uh, he's stuck on that. He's stuck on that skull. Not echo. He goes into the demon. I just got to make sure we um we get some pumpkin juke stacks before that skull knight comes in and kills everyone. Uh, that, was, that that sucked a little bit. That pumpkin juke getting drawn out. I mean, this, that, this could uh, mess us up. You see there, the Ares procs helping, just stopping uh, some of the heroes procking. And um, ah, damn, damn Atlantic or proc. That's always a danger. I think our Skull Knight's got in there. So I usually like to try and get up to like wave fifteen. Um, nah, that was that was a poor run. So you get the idea. Um. I usually get a lot more than that. We'll give it one more shot, fingers crossed. Get a better score. Uh, not sure what happened there, actually. You know, the damage was pretty poor. Um, I think it was that pumpkin juke getting drawn out by that skull knight. That was what killed it for us. Um, I think Spear Mage died pretty quickly after that. Um, he's one of those ones, Spear Mage. I mean, I got the wrong talent on him um, for most game modes, but it's actually. Not bad for this one. I got him on. I got him on a tenacity, and uh, his uh, skill is uh, level ten. And I usually find this like it does enough damage without, uh, um, you know, say a, an eight war god or whatever, to usually wipe mo uh, wipe most things out before um, before he dies. So you know, before the heroes get to the bases. So. Um, you know, so this this game mode is completely dependent on spawns and uh, you know luck of the draw, and you know the first like you know demon uh, waves up to demon is never a problem. It, you know the issue is then after after, after this demon's killed is um I was now saying that and seeing this is this is exactly the disaster of this base setup when this happens. There there are just weak points on the setup. There's nothing you can do about it. It's just it's just luck of the draw of whether all your heroes um, make it through to the demon. That's a this is a bad this is a bad one now because uh, Pumpkin Duke hasn't got stuck on the demon, so everyone's attacking too slow. I mean, you can see here like Dread Drake and uh, Spirit Mage uh, doing enough damage even without the Pumpkin Duke stacks. But uh, the problem I've got now is like I'm already up to wave eight and this demon's still alive, you know. <laughs> so it's uh, the next the next wave now is gonna be um, a bit devastating, I think, if I don't get this demon killed. So there we go. We've got him killed, but it's whether uh, it's whether we're in trouble now. Yeah, I've just got this damn Atlantico. Uh, Oh, we have to wave ten, yeah. See, and this is the problem now because now we've got this demon coming in, and we still got Atlantic Ores alive, um, which is not what you want. Oh, 
the tails are down as well. So fingers crossed we just get pumping juice stuck into the demon as quickly as possible. At least the ACs are dead. It's all Alanico is always the ones that cause me cause me the major concern. Um, around about this stage. You know, the other problem is we're up to wave eleven eleven and without those pumpkin juice stacks earlier, the damage hasn't been accumulating as much. And this is where things started to get really tough now. You can see there the all the fucking heroes got stuck on the wall. It's giving them a chance to proc. Uh, I, I, I just don't know whether we're going to have enough to stay alive. Yeah, and Kazigo is wave 13 and he's going to see Atlanta cause. So, um, yeah, this has been a bad run. It goes to show if you don't change your crests, and I haven't sorted pets out properly either. Um, yeah, 88 million, not great. You know, I, I I usually get a lot more than that. So that's kind of like, you know, for for the first day, it's not the end of the world. Um, I'll probably put, post another video tomorrow and uh, show you with the right crest set that what a big difference it can make to your team because uh, that, that score, you know, it's not it's not terrible, but it's, you know, it's not what I'd, I'd be hoping to get. So uh, fingers crossed we can sort it out tomorrow. All right, cheers, guys.